Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm having a hard time because it smells so good. Welcome back. We're talking butter this afternoon. It's delicious. It's the most versatile thing in the kitchen, if I do say so myself. So today, we're going to teach you how to use it to make your dishes sing. Please welcome Jonathan Russell. Hi, Jonathan. Hi. Thank you for having me. Well, it's been fun to smell, <laughs> honestly, smell the deliciousness and yeah. taste it, which is what we're going to do. But let's talk about um, the different kinds of butter. Sure. So what we do, and we're a Atlanta-based company, mm -hmm. Banner Butter, so we make a cultured butter. And really all that means and all that people need to know is that the culturing process that we do takes about 27 times longer, and it really just develops that rich, buttery flavor. Uh -huh. So like, butter is great no matter what. Sure. But cultured butter, and especially what we get to do, mm -hmm. just it develops that flavor. And we get anywhere from 83 to 87% butterfat. That extra amount of butterfat that you get yeah. really helps transfer the flavor. So like, if we're talking about our unsalted butter or our sea salt butter, you really get that rich, buttery flavor for things like a hummum bear or like classically dipping your radishes in, in like a French tradition. Okay. Or we add flavors like the roasted garlic, basil, and parsley, or kind of these sweeter ones where we have cinnamon, cardamom, ginger, ginger and dark chocolate. All right, slow down, Jonathan. We need to, I want to get into all okay. the butters, but um, I, we were talking too, like we don't disparage any butter on the show, but this no. butter is exceptionally delicious. So mm -hmm. let's try some. Okay, yeah. I think maybe where we need to start off with is just like taking a little bit of the bread right okay, here. Been and then okay. we'll just spread a little bit of the sea salt butter on there. So we start off with a little bit of mm -hmm. fine sea salt to build that flavor and then a little bit of uh, coarse sea salt to kind of build that mm. extra little pop a little flavor there. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. And I was telling you earlier too, mm. I'm from a restaurant family. We would go on vacation and my dad would always put in our suitcase pounds and pounds of delicious like European butter wherever we yeah. were because he said it was so much better than what was currently then made in the U.S. This was in the 80s. But right, and this is what, what makes this so much fun to do. I mean, I, I get to make butter for a living. There's It's a pretty great job in and of itself. But the fact that we're making something just like those people were in, in uh, yeah. the 80s and in France and yeah. for a long time. So bringing that tradition over here and making something so delicious and then sharing it with the food shops in Atlanta, the, the local restaurants, Buttermilk Kitchen built uh, or cooked these oh beautiful gosh. biscuits this morning for us yeah. using our buttermilk and our butter. These are so good. Erica I Council have... over at Bomb Biscuit, she also uses those. Uh, Bacchanalia made these croissants using our butter this morning. So the best chefs and shops in town use our product, mm -hmm. but anyone out there can go and buy it at Whole Foods, yeah. their butcher shops, pick them up, take them home, and elevate their meals for their family. Okay, a regular person like me, not a butter connoisseur, if I were to to go buy some of this delicious butter, then what would you suggest I make it in? Should I just eat it? I mean, I could just eat it plain with yeah, a spoon, but honestly, that's uncouth, Jonathan. I so, would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> we do it all the time. Okay, okay. One thing I would say is our dark chocolate butter is mm. really amazing. I don't think anyone else is doing it. And so people sometimes just don't know how to do use that. I say anything for breakfast would be great, pancakes, waffles, but I got these croissants here so oh, let's do why don't it. we just make a let's chocolate croissant it. ourselves please let's I, I you took the words right out of my mouth i didn't even know i needed it today but there i do go. now okay thank you <laughs> so, so, what's your favorite thing my to favorite eat? Yeah. so like i think that this roasted garlic basil and parsley butter is amazing because mm. we've basically taken the time to make a fresh scampi for you right so just putting some fresh shrimp into a pan with that and you've got a, a easy simple meal or taking that and spreading it on uh uh, on bread, this beautiful baguette that they made for us, and you've got your garlic bread. Pasta, we made a, a mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, one of our staff made this for us, and just threw that in the pot with a little bit of things. And all these recipes you can find on our website at bannerbutter.com. Okay, perfect. And you can really like take a traditional dish that perhaps you already do at home, add a little bit of specialty butter, and it really mm -hmm. just ups the game. Yeah, so this is our cinnamon cardamom ginger butter. Oh Again, great for breakfast, but we made this like easy make ahead granola that, especially this time of year, like being a parent, it's hard to get those kids out the door. This is something you can make a week ahead, just have it in a jar. They can come home, easy, simple snack. Oh God, Jonathan, thank or these you dark so much chocolate for butter. being here today. I'm just gonna go ahead and <laughs> We'll just load you up. <laughs> thank you, I appreciate you being here. It's so delicious, you guys. I can't wait for you to try it. Thanks so much for enjoying our butter flight this morning. We Absolutely. appreciate you. All right, well, it's almost fall, y'all. Next.